So, how do you get into using your own overclocking software and still have sweet OSD information in your game? Okay, so that should not be a big deal. Let me look for OSD in game. Auto display CPU usage in game. Okay, um, and here we have MSI Afterburner, MSI Afterburner, <laughs> damn it, MSI Afterburner everywhere. I don't want to use MSI Afterburner, so um, with MSI Afterburner, Jesus, let's search them without MSI. I don't want that. So let's see, uh, MSI after burner, MSI after burner. Oh, here, Linus, he will explain it to me. Let's see. <laughs> Bloody MSI after burner, MSI after burner, MSI after burner. What if you don't want to use MSI after burner? Is it even possible? Yes, and it's extremely simple. So let me just explain it in the most simple way I can, since seems that anyone failed to explain it properly on the internet and in YouTube in particular. So, you need simply two things, two applications. The Riva Turner Statistics Server, I'll mention also in the video from NCIX, which is the framework uh, utilized by all the overclocking software that are offering OSD, such as, for example, MSI After Banner, right? Uh, but you need to as well have another application that feed sensor information to Riva Turner uh, Statistics Server. So you can get both applications for free from Guru3D and the link will be in the description below. So it will be very easy for you to go ahead and download it. Now, it may be a little bit tricky to understand how to make everything work. So let me show you how I make everything work. It's very easy once you know exactly how to do it. So let's put this down for a moment, useless. Um, so I have already uh, MSI, um, I already River Turner Statistics running, right? So I have it down here. And this is uh, River Turner Statistics. So very easy. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time here because if you want to know in depth what every settings actually mean, you can just over your mouse on top of it and you have very self-explanatory tooltips coming out very useful. So the main thing you want to be aware of is to have obviously show on screen display on and show on statistics. If you have this off, you won't see the frame per second which are offered by Riva uh, Statistics Server, which is fine if you want to use something else such as, uh, such as um, Steam overlay or you want to use Fraps, right? But I mean, I think it's good enough to use the one offered by Riva, it's, it's good enough. So you want to leave this on anyway for now, even if then you plan to use um, Steam overlay or you want to use uh, fraps or whatever, right? Leave it on for now because then you can test if it works fine with your system. Uh, what else can you do? Now, before just we go to testing, I will just very quickly explain the main thing. Um, so obviously you want to have on on-screen display support. Then you may have vector 2D, vector 3D and raster 3D. Again, hold your mouse on for tooltips. It will explain you everything. But I would suggest you to go with raster 3D because you can also choose your own font and style and it's pretty cool. Uh, you can have shadows or not, all of different options. Then the main thing you may want to be aware of um, are the profiles. You can have global profile or you may create specific profile for games. So if I go here, you see the um, overlay will be in a different position, there are different settings, you may have even uh, I don't know, a different color, so I will pick this, but the global one will be this one, right? So if it's, unless it's this game, anything will apply this setting. So for now, just to make sure that things are working, be sure you have show on-screen display on, you have on-screen display support on, and show on statistic on. So now, if we try to launch an application that is using our graphic card, such as, for example, the um, Haven benchmark, we are going to see here, right, that Riva Tuner is actually working because it starts to count our frame. Brilliant. So Riva Tuner is working. As you see, it's just about installing Riva Tuner and be sure that these options are run. As you can see, if this is off, it's turning it off. 
if this is off it's turning it off and if this is off it's turning the frame count off so be sure that you have show on screen display on on screen display support on and show own statistic on show own statistics are the own statistics from Rina Riva Turner statistics server now all we get here is the frame per seconds right and here is where come into place the second application we're talking about, which is Art Hardware Info 64. Now, as you can see, I already have uh, here uh, Open Hardware Monitor, for example, right? Another handy application. They have all the sensor there and I have all the information I will need to go into Riva Statistics Server. But there's no way for me to make this work with uh, Riva Turner Statistics Server. So that's why you need specifically Hardware Info uh, 64 okay which again I linked in the description below so what happened when I open hardware info so just leave sensor only run and boom look at that all my sweet information are now in the OSD awesome it's just working why it works you need to ensure when you open uh, uh, hardware info that you go in the settings to configure the sensors and here you're going to see OSD, on-screen display, for Riva Tuner statistic servers. So this is the trick, right? Hardware Info 64 natively support Riva Tuner statistic servers. So this is exactly what the MSI Afterburner does, right? MSI Afterburner feed their sensor information to Riva Tuner. The cool thing of using Hardware Info 64, aside from the fact that you can use then your own overclocking uh, utility, right? Because Hardware Info is just login sensor, nothing more. Uh, the cool thing is as well that here you have as well CPU information. So how does it work? Here basically you select whatever you want, like for example here you see the little yes because I have show value, show value in OSD, right? So I have total CPU usage here, total CPU usage. If I untick this, it is appearing. If I tick it, it is appearing again. You can also decide if having labels or not, right? And then you may also decide at which line you want your sensor to appear. For example, in my case, I put all the GPU information at the very top and all the CPU and uh, RAM memory for the system uh, below, right? So I know that on top I have GPU information, at the bottom I have CPU information. So as, uh, as can you see, it's very easy to do it once you know exactly how to do it and I not, don't know why it's so hard to find this information and I hope that this video is going to be uh, helpful to you. Uh, now, this works as well uh, not only with Direct3D but it works as well with OpenGL and with Vulkan since the latest version of Riva Turner 6.6.0 so if you have issues with OpenGL games especially with the latest ones such as for example uh, um, the Doom uh, game, uh, be sure that you have the latest version, the 6.6.0, and everything should work uh, pretty neatly. So, as you can see, it works flawlessly and is also displaying uh, OSD information with latest uh, Vulkan uh, OpenGLs uh, with this uh, demo of uh, Doom uh, running at the moment. I'm even recording and as you can see, it's running nicely at 60 frames per second at 1440p on my RX 480 with the OSD and all the sensor being logged without any real impact on the game itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this video is useful to you because for me it was very hard to find this information and I tried to explain it in a more simple way and to give you all the information you need to make this happen and have all your statistics uh, up and running in your game. So thumbs up if you liked the video and if it was uh, helpful to you. I would love to read your comments and let me know if you have any troubles or make it works. And please subscribe to have any more of uh, these videos and see you soon. Yeah. <laughs>